This is Nuffle Bunny 2 by Mo Williams. One morning, not so long ago, Trixie took a walk with her daddy. By now, Trixie really knew how to talk. Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to show Amy, and then I'll show Meg, and then I'll show Margot, and then I'll show Jane, then I'll show Leela, and then I'll show Rebecca, and then I'll show Noah, and Robbie, and Toshi, and then Casey, and Connie, and Parker, and Brian, and then and talk and talk. Trixie was excited because she was taking her one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny somewhere very special. School. There we go, we can see her. Trixie couldn't wait to show Nuffle Bunny to Mrs Greengrove and all of her classmates. But as her daddy was kissing Trixie goodbye, she saw Sonja. Suddenly, Trixie's one-of-a-kind Nuffle Bunny wasn't so one-of-a-kind anymore, because Sonja has one too. The morning did not go well. They argued a lot, and then the afternoon got worse. As Mrs Greengrove confiscated both of their Nuffle Bunnies. When the bell rang, Mrs Greengrove returned the Nuffle Bunnies, and the day got a lot better. Can you see them playing in the park? Then, before she knew it, it was time to go home. She ate her dinner because no one likes vegetables, devoured her dessert, brushed her teeth, and tried to escape the mummy and daddy robots from Planet Snurp. At half past bedtime, Trixie was tucked in, ready to go to sleep. But a few hours later, Trixie realised something. Trixie marched into her mummy and daddy's room and said, that is not my bunny. She must have Sonja's bunny instead. Trixie's daddy tried to explain what 2.30am meant. He asked, can we deal with this in the morning? But Trixie was not having that. So her daddy went to the phone. Before he had even made it down the stairs though, ring, the phone rang. We have your bunny, said the man's voice on the other end. We have yours, replied Trixie's daddy, and arrangements were made. Trixie and her daddy rushed across the neighborhood. Trixie did not want to be mate. Neither did Sonja. You can see Trixie over here and Sonja right over here. There was an exchange and the Nuffle Bunnies were back where they belonged. I was so worried about my bunny, said Sonja. So was I, Trixie replied. Then they both said, I'm glad you've got your bunny back at the exact same time. And that's how Trixie found her first best friend. Except Nuffle Bunny, of course. The end.